Okay, here's part two of our um, China Girl engine rebuild. Um, after the cases have been uh, cleaned off of the gaskets, cleaned from gaskets, and uh, the case matching has been done, now uh, before assembly takes place, um, we have to measure the the case uh, the cases where the bearing fits in, uh, in and where that will be positioned in relation to the surface. We calculate the gasket width and we do that for both sides and I, I use this fancy, um, I just happen to have it so um, lucky me, <laughs> um, uh, we use this height gauge to um, first we take a measurement here it's on the surface plate we take a measurement of this gasket surface record it we write it down on paper and then we take another measurement down here for where the bearing fits and then we record that we do that for the other case and then those two depths we add them together uh, add the gasket and we get a 2.156 case width and then we um, we take our crank, and I have these little spacers that I fit here on each end. And I don't have my measuring tool, but I measure. That allows me to measure. And then these two um, spacers are half an inch wide, so both of them make one inch. So when I measure them, and I measure the case, uh, the uh, crank, we get a uh, crank width of uh, um, two, uh, 1.285. We got two bearings that are 0.435 times 2. We'll get a uh, width of 2.155. <laughs> and this is the closest one I've ever seen. My God, no shims are going to be required here. Uh, sometimes if the crank is too narrow, um, you'll have to put a little shim to shim the bearing out because you don't want the crank to float around in the case. Um, so this is this is just like literally with one thousandths clearance. It's it, you know I'll I'll allow a, you know six thousandths clearance. That's not a big deal, but you don't want like uh, a sixteenth of an inch or a thirty second or an eighth of an inch to float around. I've seen them float around quite a bit and. Um, um, that's not cool. So, so now these have been measured. I've figured out whether I need a shims, and I don't in this case. Um, the next step will be careful assembly, and we'll go to that next.